Hey guys, Carbius1 here. The all new 2020 Toyota Yaris is on its way, and on this episode in Carbius1, we're going to be going through all the information that you need to know, such as the new trim levels, the new high price, which is kind of raising a couple of concerns, the new engines, and the new features that you're going to be seeing on the new Yaris. Let's get straight into it. So, before we continue, I thought I'd show you a couple of pictures. So, you've got the new front end of the new Yaris. Then you can see you got the new rear end, which actually looks quite nice. And finally, you can see in this last photo, you can see the new interior, which looks so much better than the outgoing model, which is really, really good. Models. So you've got three new trims. You've got your base model, the Sense Sport, which can be easily extinguished with the halogen headlights and plastic hubcaps. Then you've got the middle of the range, the SX, which you can tell with the full LED lights and your alloy wheels. Then you've got the top of the range called the ZR, which has a more aggressive body kit and blacked out wheels. Prices. So what are the prices for the new range? So the base model for the manual is 25,915 drive away. And you opt for the automatic version, which comes with the CVT, is 27,473 drive away. If you go for the middle of the range, the SX, it's a little bit more dearer. It comes in at a price tag of 31006 for the petrol model and for the hybrid model, 32990 If you go for the top of the range of ZR, again it's even more expensive, starting at 34212 draw away, and for the hybrid version, it is 36196 draw away, and these are for the Australian market. So what are the engines for the new Toyota Yaris? So it comes in two different engines. You've got the 1.5 litre petrol, or you can go for the 1.5 litre petrol hybrid. The 1.5 litre petrol engine is a three cylinder engine, in case you're wondering. In terms of power, it produces 88 kilowatts of power, or 188 horsepower. In terms of torque, it produces 145 newton meters of torque, or 106 foot pounds LBS. In terms of fuel consumption, it produces 4.9 litres per 100 kilometres, or 48 mpg. And in case you're wondering, this is for the CVT model only. In terms of the manual, it is unknown at this point of time. The 1.5 litre petrol hybrid is also a three-cylinder engine as well. In terms of power, it produces 85 kilowatts of power, or 133 horsepower. In terms of torque and foot-pounds, is unknown at this point of time. In terms of fuel consumption, you're looking at 3.3 litres per 100 kilometres, or 71 mpg. And also, again, this is for the CVT version only. Technology. You get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay standard across the whole range, which is a really nice feature. In terms of safety, the new 2020 Toyota Yaris comes with Toyota's Safety Sense technology. This includes things like pre-collision safety system for not just cars but pedestrians as well, night and day. Cyclist detection, day only. Intersection turn assist. Roadside assist. Lane train assist, so the vehicle can keep in its lane without veering off. Adaptive cruise control. and automatic high beam, so the vehicle can dip its lights to the left to avoid blinding oncoming drivers. What are the additional features that you get on the SX and the ZR trim levels? SX includes things like satellite navigation, LED headlights, silver alloy wheels, and climb control. The top of the range, the ZR, adds on top of what the SX has, things like two-tone colours, heads-up display, blind spot monitoring system, blacked out wheels, also you get a reversing camera, but you also get sensors as well, and as for the interior, you also get paddle shifters, even though this is the GR version, not the most accurate photo, you've got paddle shifters. I hope you enjoyed this video and it kind of gave you everything that you need to know on the new 2022 Yaris. Feel free to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.